It may be the best time for a kid, the end of the school day, but for the principal of Southview Community, it's one of the most frustrating. Uh, the issue is, is that parents want to get as close as they can to the building and, and, and aren't um, willing to walk that little extra bit to get to the school. So whenever there's an open spot, whether it's appropriate or not, that they're parking in those areas. This is an ongoing problem for most elementary schools in the city and administration have attempted to deal with it. We've tried a number of things. Um, we include reminders in our newsletters. Uh, we used to have uh, a teacher that was assigned to the parking lot that would actually go out there and um, remind parents Jeez. that you're not and to be out there. Just a couple weeks ago a school bus was trying to drive through there and clip the mirror off of a vehicle because oh. there's no room. So. But the message doesn't seem to be getting across. Parking is still a problem. Yeah, and see that red vehicle just pulled up and... Most of the issues basically boil down to either personal laziness or ignorance of the signs that are posted. I just my son always meets me here, so I just don't want to miss him today because i got to work at 4. And it's clearly shown where parking is allowed around the schools and where it isn't. All of the areas are well marked with fire lanes, no parking, bus stops, you name it. Parking around most schools is limited, and so parents often have to park in residential areas. Now this is definitely okay, but the issue happens when there are driveways involved. You have to park more than a meter and a half away from a driveway, which, as you can see, is farther than you might think. They have been sitting in it when I went past, and now they're out of it. And if you think you won't get into trouble, you're wrong. The Medicine Hat Police are cracking down on violators. Yeah, Tim, I just passed that one. I wanted to check on that Taurus up here. Fines for parking against signs range from about $57 to $100 for parking in a handicap zone. So fairly significant fines. But it isn't just about tagging violators. Um, we're hoping that parents get the message that it's not to be issuing tickets or raise money for the police service. It's simply to make sure that our, all of our children at our school are safe all times. Kelsey Morrison, Chat News.